So when you press down for air, are you getting a little bit of paint that's leaking out of the front of your airbrush? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix that issue. Let's get into it right now. Okay, so you've cleaned your airbrush, you've put some paint in, you're ready to paint, you press down for air, and you can see I'm not pulling back at all, but I've got paint coming out. So my airbrush is running single action. What could be causing this? Now, because I wanted to showcase this to you, and this airbrush is fine, what I've done, and this is the first main issue that can cause paint to be leaking out, is that when you've put your airbrush back together, you haven't tightened your needle and pushed it all the way forward. You can see when I pull it out, it's allowing paint to leak out. So the needle needs to sit all the way forward, make sure it's seating and sealing the inside of that fluid nozzle. Otherwise, you're gonna have paint escaping. And you can see now, I'm able to pull back and just keep the air on and there's no paint coming out. The other thing that can cause it is that you've also got a slight little bit of paint stuck on the inner wall of the fluid nozzle, barely visible. That could be coming from tip drying or just dirty paint and therefore the needle doesn't seat all the way forward and again, it allows paint to leak out of that fluid nozzle when you're painting. The next thing to check if you've pushed that needle all the way forward and it's still leaking paint is the fluid nozzle. So first I would remove the needle just so you don't damage the needle whilst you remove the nozzle to check it. The Eclipse nozzle is a little bit different. It's a two-part nozzle. You can see it here. It's got that brass cone and then it's got the little tiny nozzle that's stock standard on most airbrushes screwed onto the front. So I just need to get to that front section and just using my nozzle wrench and just carefully unscrew the nozzle. Careful that you don't drop it. And there you have the nozzle removed. You can see the tool holds it nicely. Drop that into my hand and just pop the needle back in there just so that I can demonstrate. But basically Basically what you're looking for is any type of split or flaring of the nozzle. So the flaring happens to the end of the nozzle there, just on the tip, or there might be a slight split down the side. You could have put a damaged needle back into your airbrush, which has then scraped it and damaged it over time. But if any of those characteristics are there, then you'll know that you need to replace the nozzle to fix the leakage issue. You won't be able to fix it by just reseeding your needle. So that's when you'd go ahead and get one of these and swap it over and then that'll fix your issue. And I'm just going to put this nozzle back on there. What I like to do first is just using my fingers, just get the thread first, finger tight. And then again, using the nozzle wrench, you sit that over the front till it locks it in and then just twist clockwise, give it a bit of a nudge and it's all refitted safely. Put the air cap back on and then I can slide my needle back in as well making sure that I've pressed that needle all the way forward so that it seats and seals my nozzle and doesn't allow any of that paint to escape. So they're the three main things that can cause the paint to leak out. Number one, it's dirty and the needle isn't seating or you haven't pushed it all the way through. Number two, you've got a flared nozzle or number three, you've got a split nozzle. Another thing to note is that when you do refit your nozzle, sometimes you may need to put a bit of beeswax on the thread just to seal it up so that it doesn't back bubble on you. So if you you're getting any air escaping and it's happening around that thread what will happen is you'll get bubbles back into your color cup okay so that's how to fix that issue with some airbrushes the split nozzle will actually cause back bubbling example of an airbrush that that happens to is the Awada HPCN Neo I've got a video describing that issue and I'll pop that link in the description below as well as some other helpful links for you so to fast track your learning you can definitely check out our online airbrushing course at airbrush asylum.thinkific.com. I'll also put the link in the description below, or you can continue learning by checking out some of these videos here. And until next time, go grab your airbrush, do some amazing artwork yourself, and I'll see you again very, very soon in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.